In the first reading today, we are reminded that we were made imperishable. We are made in the image of God. As we think about that, it really is so appropriate for what we are doing today in baptizing Isabella. Because one of the things that obscures our ability to see that we are truly made in the image and likeness of God is sin. And we know we're all born with original sin and today that will be taken away from Isabella. And in that moment, Jesus will make a promise to her. A promise that through his death and resurrection that she will be entered into the promise of eternal life. She will be made imperishable. And with that, what we hear from the Book of Wisdom is made real. It is made true in her life, as it has been for all of us who are baptized. But as we think about that, so often in our lives, that sense of being made in the image and likeness of God can get lost. We can lose sight of it so easily. It always remains true, but we're not always able to recognize it. And why is that? Simply out of fear. We lose sight of it because we tend to listen to the world and what the world tells us to do. And ultimately, the world will lead us away from faith and away from understanding who we truly are. The world will stop us from seeing reality. We see that even in today's gospel. When Jesus comes to the house and tells them, she's not dead, she's simply asleep, and what's their response? They ridicule him. In fact, they tell Jairus, just send him away. He can't do you any good. Your daughter's dead. We've already decided that. But what is Jesus' response? Do not be afraid. Just have faith. And that is the deepest gift that Isabella will be receiving today. It is the gift that we have all received. It is that gift of faith. And it is in that faith that we are called to begin to see the world as it is. The woman who suffered recognized Jesus could do something for her, but she didn't fully understand what it was. If I just but touch his cloak, I can be healed. But Jesus wanted her to understand truly what healed her. It was not touching him. It was the faith that she placed in him. And it was that faith that allowed her to finally be set free. And as we think about that, how often we can get caught up in fear. And with that, we can lose sight of Christ who is with us. Because Jesus has promised us very simply that I will never forsake you, I will never abandon you, I will never leave you. But it's so easy in our struggles in life. It is oh so easy when we want to look at the world the, the way the world does as opposed to how Jesus does. We enter into a world of fear where we come to think that we're alone, that we're forgotten. But in that moment, we need to remember the famous footsteps prayer, where when the person looks back and sees 
that in the darkest, most difficult moments in their life, there was simply one set of footprints. And so ask, Lord, why were you not there when I needed you the most? And he responded, it was then that I carried you. That is the gift of baptism. That is the gift of faith. That we are never alone. We are never forgotten. We are never abandoned. And so those moments when we feel the deepest sense of fear in our lives, it is there that we're called to remember these words that Jesus speaks to us today, to remind us of that truth, to, to remind us of the gift that we were given in baptism, the gift of faith, the gift of his presence with us. Do not be afraid, just have faith.